So what we have learned is uh, that uh, up to 40% of the patients uh, after risk stratification uh, may be treated with uh, chemotherapy only with a rather good uh, event-free survival, uh, uh, disease-free survival and overall survival. And these are patients with a core binding factor, uh, acute myeloid leukemia, or with intermediate uh, risk cytogenetics uh, with uh, favorable uh, mutations and without minimal residual disease. So uh, based on that, 40% of the patients in remission uh, may be treated with chemotherapy only. And in contrast, those with high minimal residual disease after chemotherapy, consolidation chemotherapy and or uh, adverse genetic features, all of them should go to an allogeneic transplant. But despite that, uh, they don't have a, a, a disease-free survival after transplant higher than 30%. Uh, so novel therapies in this group of patients in combination with the transplant are needed, basically target therapy and uh, also in novel immune approach uh, like uh, uh, donor lymphocyte, early donor lymphocyte infusions, specific T cells against uh, 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 the, the leukemic cells and eventually other immune therapies.